Citadel of Experts, Educators, and Professionals in Physical Education, Sports, and Exercise, the College of Human Kinetics, home of over 800 students aspiring to become physical educators, fitness managers, and sports coaches, consistently surpassing the national passing rate for professional teachers, producing acclaimed sport coaches and fitness trainers in national and international arena, and continually committing to curricular advancement and professional development. This is the College of Human Kinetics. It is of constitutional mandate that physical education be part of the Philippines' thrust towards quality holistic education. As a response, Kagan State University, through the College of Human Kinetics, opened its doors to the community who find interest in music, arts, physical education, and health by offering programs which are instrumental in advancing the importance of physical education among every Filipino. In the past, all degree and non-degree programs offered at Kagin State University featured physical education as one of the academic disciplines included in general education curriculum. Later, under the presidency of Dr. Manuel T. Corpus, it was the main discipline offered in the College of Education, starting with the school year 1985 to 1986. Through the years, CSU's College of Human Kinetics has undeniably transformed from its previous past, with nothing on its table but to serve the best for every batch of its graduates. The college continues to subject its programs and curricula for review and modification, in pursuit and in response to quality standards set forth in higher education. Realizing the strategic significance and role of physical education graduates participating in sports events as a source of local referees and empires, and the impressive employment rate of the physical education, Dr. Narisa A. Bautista, the Dean and University Director for Physical Education and Sports, wrote a proposal for the graduates. In accordance with Board Resolution No. 318S, this proposal was presented to the University Board of Regents by the University President Dr. Roger P. Perez and approved at the 24th Board Meeting on May 16, 2007. This then resulted in the subsequent founding of the College of Human Kinetics as the youngest college in CSU obtaining for itself a legal phase in the academic community chk started offering the degree programs from the undergraduate to the graduate school levels with 259 enrollees at the onset gradual curricular offering was done by the college until it has established its operations from its previous administrator, CHK was relinquished to Dr. Chita Ramos Management since 2013. When sat as a dean in June 2013, she asked the region to change the department structure to a college. The Department of Human Kinetics is no longer a part of College of Teacher Education as a result of the BOR Resolution No. 39, Series of 2014. The name department mentioned in Board Resolution No. 318, Series of 2007, dated May 6, 2007, is hereby corrected from Department of Human Kinetics to College of Human Kinetics and will now be treated as a separate and distinct academic unit. The Bachelor of Physical Education program of the College of Human Kinetics observes a constructive alignment of its program outcomes to the college goals and the university vision and mission to make sure that the activities of the program are aligned with the preambular provisions of the university. The faculty members frame their syllabi based on the intended program outcomes. 
Consequently, the course learning outcomes are mapped based on the IPO. Such constructive alignment is apparent on the curriculum mapping found in the syllabus. The Bachelor of Physical Education is a four-year course which allows for focused study in physical education and yet includes other areas like health education and music. The program aims to produce scientifically inclined physical education graduates who are embedded with the core values of the university and whose knowledge and skills will respond to the national and global demands. Moreover, it will prepare and train qualified students to teach physical education, recreation and sports in the elementary, secondary, and tertiary level, and to become sports, dance, recreation, and fitness specialists. To make sure that the curriculum content is constructively aligned, a standard syllabus format is used for the faculty members on their subjects. The front page of the syllabus will show the elements of outcomes-based education model. It is necessary that the students are oriented of the intended graduate attributes, the college intended learning outcomes, and the intended program outcomes. The course map is very important element of the syllabus as it ensures that the intended learning outcome are aligned to the program outcomes. This further guarantees that the activities, strategies, assessment tool, and instructional materials developed in the course are complementary to the achievement of the program outcomes. The standard syllabus used in the university is not just a list of course content, but also a course guide for the learners. The parts shown in the picture above provide a background about the course to the students. The grading system is also detailed in the same part. On the other hand, outcome-based learning plan specifies the learning content, teaching and learning references, teaching and learning activities, and learning assessment. During the pandemic, with the implementation of flexible learning, the syllabus was modified to ac accommodate the part where the teachers can specify the mode of learning. A list reference and other sources are also included in the syllabus. In order to facilitate instruction and other curricular and extracurricular activities of the students enrolled in the Bachelor of Physical Education program, the university and college have the following manuals and documents. Academic Manual Student Manual College of Human Kinetics Manual of Operations College of Teacher Education and College of Human Kinetics Research Manual College of Human Kinetics Online Teaching and Learning Guidelines College of Human Kinetics Manual of Procedure ISO Student Internship Program of the Philippines Manual and CSU's Administrative Manual in the College of Human Kinetics and the Bachelor of Physical Education, faculty development is seen very important in the achievement of the learning outcomes and ultimately the vision and mission of the university. The faculty members of BPED program composed of teachers in the professional education. Major and general education courses are committed to improve from their previous best to serve the students of the program. Let's have a closer look at each of the individual professors handling the major courses of the program to see how each has made a name and left a mark in his or her respective turf. We begin with Dr. Chita Sirax, who is a newly accredited full-fledged professor. She has been the Dean of the College of Human Kinetics since 2013. She is also a well-sought resource person 
along education, culture, and the arts. She served a two-term president of the Teacher Education Council of Region 2 from 2016 to 2021. She is also one of the Regional Quality Assessment Team, member of the Region 2 in the Bachelor of Physical Education Program, the BPED Program Coordinator, Dr. Hans Fraser Arrow is a graduate of Doctor of Education, Major in Educational Management in 2021, and was awarded outstanding in his dissertation. As of present, he is pursuing Doctor of Education, Major in Physical Education. He is also the Program Coordinator of the Masters in Physical Education in the Graduate School. He has been handling major courses for both PIPED and BICES program. Meanwhile, Mr. Daniel Casaway, the BICES coordinator, is a graduate of Master of Science in Teaching Physical Education. He is presently pursuing his Doctor of Philosophy in Physical Education at St. Paul University, Philippines. He handles courses in fitness and sports coaching and fitness and sport management among students enrolled in BICES program. He is in charge of coordinating with agencies before sending the students for on-the-job trainings. Another potent factor in the development of the program under survey is Associate Professor Giovanni Morales, the former program coordinator of BPED. He is presently working on his dissertation in the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Physical Education. He is designated as the Campus Sports Coordinator, at the same time the University Sports Director. Dr. J.R. Bayani is another asset in the faculty lineup of the college. He finished his Doctor of Education, Major in Educational Management in 2021, and was awarded outstanding in his dissertation. At present, he is already in the dissertation of his other postgraduate degree, Doctor of Public Administration. He has been teaching major subjects for both BPED and BCES program. He is designated as the College Extension Coordinator. Robin Darwin Toyao, who was the former Program Chair of Bachelor of Science in Exercise and Sports Sciences. He is on study leave for his doctorate degree in Sports Nutrition offered at Mahidol University, Thailand. He has been consistent winning coach in athletics. He used to handle majority of courses under BICES program. Dr. Gretchen Marie Galindon is one of the core faculty members of both BPED and BICES programs. She is the one in charge to teach courses related to the preservation of indigenous dances in Laro ng Lahi. She is also handling massage-related courses along sports. Associate Professor Ferdinand Mercado is also one of the core faculty members in charge with teaching courses that are related to dances, both local and international ones. He finished Master's in Physical Education. Presently, he is enrolled in his Doctor of Physical Education major in educational management he is the designated campus social cultural coordinator osdw coordinator and the university director for social cultural affairs assistant professor marites florentino is one of the core senior faculty members of the college she finished masters of science in teaching physical education at present she is pursuing Doctor of Philosophy in Education, major in Educational Management. She has been handling courses related to health and nutrition, the history and development of physical education, and services offered by the school community in public health. 
She has been the college advisor of the College Student Government Council. In summary, below shows the distribution of the nature of employment of the faculty members. 18 or 58% of the faculty members of the College of Human Kinetics who are teaching in BIPED program are non tenured, while 13 or 42% of them are non tenured. Meanwhile, in terms of their educational attainment, 12 or 39% of them are doctoral degree holder. 11 or 35% are master degree holder. And 8 or 26% of them are bachelor degree holder. In addition to the academic background of the faculty members, the BPED program takes pride in the production of instructional materials of its faculty members. To ensure that the teaching and learning activities are aligned to the program outcomes of BPED, the faculty members carefully design their instruction by accomplishing their syllabus. It is made sure that the syllabus is a learning contract that must include not only a list of topics or suggested readings and references, but also contain challenging activities and strategies. It is worth mentioning that the faculty members prepare their syllabi with comprehensive contents and if needed, for the succeeding semesters, the faculty revised and enhances their syllabi. Integrated in their syllabi are teaching strategies that stimulates the development of students' higher order thinking skills, such as critical thinking, analytical thinking, creative thinking, and problem solving. Symposia, Seminar, Workshops, Professional Lectures Cooperative Learning Case Studies Research Projects Computer Assisted Instruction Use of ICT in Teaching Appreciative Inquiry Teaching Demonstrations Reporting and contextualized presentations Games and interactive activities Performance-based activities Learning is also assessed through various authentic assessment strategies like Cognitive assessment tools Performance-based assessment Affective assessment and portfolio assessment. As a practice in the College of Human Kinetics, a comprehensive exam is conducted among the graduating students in order to measure their level of preparedness for the licensure exam. Those who passed the comprehensive exam will be able to take the September licensure exam, but those who failed are advised to prepare even more and consider taking the exam on the next scheduled examination. The set of questions used by the college are derived from research conducted by the professors of education courses in the college. To ensure the validity and reliability of the examination, a series of item analysis on and context experts' validations were done. Importantly, field study and teaching internship is a year-long engagement that supports authentic experiential learning from field study and actual classroom immersion of prospective teachers. This requires observation, participation, and progress to teaching assistantship and mentored classroom teaching. The student interns will put into practice the different pedagogies that they have learned in the different subjects that they had. In the College of Human Kinetics, the participation of our students in various extracurricular activities like sports, social cultural competitions, including their involvement in dance, 
exchanges, and invitations. Can speak on the achievement of learning outcomes of the BPED program. In the College of Human Kinetics, another indicator manifesting competence is the continuous pursuit of its faculty members to fulfill the research functions geared towards the development of its program offerings. The faculty members are able to publish research articles in Scopus and Web of Science Index journals and international peer-reviewed journals. Meanwhile, faculty members' attendance to seminars, trainings, and conferences is a continuous priority of Kagan State University. In adherence to that, the College of Human Kinetics provide avenue for its faculty members to participate in different fora, both national and international levels. That provides them opportunities to stay up to date with the latest research and developments in their field build their professional reputation, and establish themselves as experts in their field. Towards the realization of the program, the Kagan State University College of Human Kinetics is particular, fulfills its thrust on community extension through the provisions of trainings and technical assistance. The focus extension is on strengthening sports clinic and sports and wellness for all. Cultural activities. Sports. The Kagan State University Carried Campus Library is one of the best libraries in the region, which caters to thousands of students and professionals. Guidance and Counseling Tracing the lead results for the past four years, the college landed on a status above the national passing rate. This were made possible through the free in-house review offered by the teachers two weeks prior to the examination date. 
the outstanding performance of the BPET program and the licensure exam for teachers can speak of the attainment of learning outcomes in the college. It further implies that the faculty members are indeed working to the direction of producing professional teachers who pass the standards set by CHED, PRC, and other regulating bodies. The students of the BPED program are not only excellent in sports and social cultural activities, but they are also performing in academic activities. In fact, two research teams won third place in the search for the best undergraduate thesis in the social category for the school year 2021 and 2022. Recently, the College Choir of the College of Human Kinetics, composed of BPED students, won second place in the regional DOSD Jingle Competition during the celebration of the Regional Science and Technology Week on November 18, 2022. It has already been a tradition in the College of Human Kinetics to emerge as champions during campus intramurals. In fact, majority of the participants sent to the university meet and regional meets are mainly composed of the students in the College of Human Kinetics. The following pictures document the achievement of the students in BPED program on the various competitions. In the pursuit of excellence, there are faculty members in the College of Human Kinetics who exceed standards, thus obtaining awards and recognitions. First place, Best Paper in Social Economic Category, Agency In-House Review 2019, Dr. Maricel Dayag Tongpalan et al. Best Presenter during the First International Conference on Engineering, Social Science and Humanities, Dr. Brian Nozaleda. First Place, Best Paper in Social Economic Category, Agency In-House Review 2022, Dr. Maricel Dayag Tongpalan et al. 2019 Most Outstanding Faculty in Instructor Category, Giovanni Morales. 2019 Most Outstanding Faculty in Associate Professor Category, Ian Roger Francisco. 2020 Most Outstanding Faculty, Ian Roger Francisco. 2022 Most Outstanding Faculty, Brian Nozaleda. Most Distinguished Alumni, Chita Ramos 2022 Full-Fledged Professor 6 Eduardo Carag 2022 Full-Fledged Professor 2 Chita Ramos 2020 Full-Fledged Professor 6 Ian Roger Francisco Moreover, one of the indicators of the achievement of the learning outcomes is the employability of graduates. The College of Human Kinetics report an impressive employability rate for the year 2018, 2019, and 2022. As a proof of the achievement of the college goals and BPED program objectives, the following evidences of achievements of alumni of BPED program are presented. The graduates of the BPED program have earned professional and academic awards in recognition of their exemplary services in their field. The College of Human Kinetics would like to believe that their accomplishments are demonstrations of the successful attainment of the goals and program objectives. College of Human Kinetics um, helped us in a way that they provided us these avenues and subjects where we can develop and enhance our skill as a performer. And we must know that the aim of the physical education is to make everyone physically fit 
And that's why I know to myself that I'm capable, skilled, and confident enough to perform in front of other people, not just for my college, but also in my university. The best thing about the curriculum of the College of Human Genetics is that it's more on engagement. So they let the students to share what ideas, opinions, and to discover new concepts and information in their room, but we're still facilitated by the teachers. So by that, it enhances my skills in thinking and speaking because it's not just me that in the academic event that I participated on, but also for my future career, which is the future. So everything that I've learned and adapted with the help of this curriculum, it will help me not just in the present time, but also for the future. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si John Paul C. Apostol and I am a proud product of Cagayan State University, Cari Campus, College of Human Genetics. Labis po ang pasasalamat ko sa departamento at sa institusyon ng Cagayan State University sa paghubog sa akin upang maging ganap na lisensyadong guro. Salamat po College of Human Genetics sa aral at turo na naibigay ninyo upang uh, mai sa katuparan ang mga pangarap ko sa buhay. Cagayan State University College of Human Kinetics opened many opportunities for me as an educator and multi-talented individual. With all the knowledge and skills I have acquired, being a product of College of Human Kinetics, I surely have applied into real life and I'm still looking forward to use those for my growth and development and for the years to come. Mabuhay ang Cagayan State University, mabuhay ang College of Human Kinetics. Hello, good day everyone. I am Mr. Kennedy Casino, a graduate of Bachelor of Physical Education, major in School Physical Education. I am very thankful for the College of Human Kinetics and of course to our uh, Dean, Dr. Chita C. Ramos and the uh, former BPED coordinator, Mr. Giovanni Borares and to the faculty and staff of College of Human Kinetics. All the uh, knowledge that you have imparted to me made me who I am now and I am very thankful to be a member of uh, the faculty of the College of Human Kinetics. Thank you and good day. Tracing the origin of the College of Human Kinetics for the past three years, we see marks of the excellence among its workforce, quality services, and sufficient resources, all contributing to continuous development. Bringing the goals and objectives to life is an anticipation to the higher ground of achievement the college aims to banner its programs with. This is the college that materializes dreams and aspirations. A college that builds holistic individuals, transcending it to the community for a healthy and fit nation. CHK, College of Human Kinetics. La Sampiat Sanchez Mira Solana